And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Spiders Aggro. This is, you know, the deck that uh, is a really good one to start with, you know, whenever you're first starting your account. So if you're kind of new to Legends of Runeterra, this is the deck for you. Basically, you start with two Elise um, and two Darius in your account right away. Um, and so, you know, and a lot of these other cards. And so you can kind of put together... Um, the spider's aggro, or at least a variation of it. You know, if you don't have every single one of these rares, you know, like if you don't have like decisive maneuver, for example, you don't really need that card. You can replace it with whatever else you have. Um, you know, same with like arena battle caster, you could play uh, the arachnid two drop with fearsome instead. Um, arachnid horror. Um, and you know stuff like that. You know you can you can make some some concessions to to the deck building, and kind of replace cards with similar cards. But anyway, yeah, like this deck's you know pretty solid, especially early on. Whenever you're ranking up, um, it's not necessarily one of the best decks here in Masters rank, but I wanted to play it again today. Uh, it's uh, it's it's aggro day. It hasn't been going so well for us, but that's what this next video is for. We're gonna turn this around. Um, yeah, you can climb the ladder up pretty far with this deck. I mean, I think you can, you know, it obviously depends on, like, how much you want to play, but I think you could just get to Masters with this deck. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, I made, you know, it'll take a little while, but uh, for for sure you can at least, you know, definitely get to, like, Diamond, uh, or sorry, Platinum, for sure. Yeah, that's what that's what Soup just said. Climbed a plat with spider aggro. There you go. Nice. It's been a while since since I've played spider aggro. That's a good good deck to play again. Let's get some spiders. All right, looks good. Uh, let's get rid of Precious Pet. Actually. They should be pretty aggressive, too. Jinx Draven. Reporting in. And Precious Pet may not Where trade that well. Okay, ready. With it being the 2 1. Yeah, the Ezreal decks are really good. Alright, we got all the Elises. <clears throat> so it does look like we're going to have... Um, and you know, like, they'll they'll be able to uh, block here, but I have more Elises. No big deal. Um, we get an extra Spider. So it does look like we're going to have a patch to, you know, a balance patch that's going to happen this week. Um, today, it's it's Saturday right now, and balance patch should be... You know, should be happening this week <clears throat> on Tuesday. And if that is the case, that we do have a balance patch... Then uh, I wonder if there's gonna, be, you know, if Ezreal or Karma, if anything's gonna change with either of those two cards. Hmm. Yeah, I know, like, the... Yeah. I saw the post with the revealed cards. Didn't mention them, but that doesn't mean that they... That doesn't mean that nothing's happening with them. It's just that... <clears throat> the cards that the person did look look up. Yeah, it didn't say... Yeah, like, there's... It's not that they won't change. Just there, there's other cards that... If that's to be true, there's other cards that will be changing. 
Yeah, Bannerman nerf, Skitter nerf. But I mean, like... Nerfing... Uh, I'm a little worried about... Con like, I think the, they're probably going to do something to control, because they're... You know, none of those things are would hurt control, and control's the, the best right now. Um... Basically, do we like do we attack here with the Elise? And I think we do. I think we try to Elise Vile Feast, trade trade those for the Draven. This is gonna hurt for you. Now we're cooking. the Bannerman nerf's not good enough, like... Like they need to nerf Bannerman more. So I don't think that's the case, because I, I don't think Bannerman is necessarily... Like, I don't think Bannerman's at, like, the top of the metagame. Like, any of the Bannerman decks, I don't think... Like, Demacia's good, but it's not... It's not at the top of the metagame. I know what lurks in the shadows. Axes coming right up. Alright, the third Elise is what we needed to play. We got a rare treat. The Hand of Noxus is in play. Yeah, I think Bannerman's a tier one deck, but I don't think it's the, yes. the very best. Yeah. What? Hmm, I well, they should have just used the spinning axes if they weren't. If they're just going to be discarding all those, they could have just used the spinning axes anyway and just put them on, you know, like the Draven or something, but. Why would they do the... Why would they not kill... Yeah, like, why would they not just kill Elise or kill... Like, all the things. Like, I don't know, but we gotta win. Yeah, honestly, yeah, I'll be surprised if... I wouldn't say I'll be surprised if Ezreal doesn't get nerfed, but I'll be surprised if nothing happens to... Like, nothing gets nerfed in the Ezreal Karma deck. You know, whether it's Ezreal or Karma, or maybe something else that's part of the deck. I'll be surprised if nothing happens to the deck. But does look like, you know, they want to make Callista, um, you know, they keep on, keep on pumping up Callista and now Katarina. Katarina definitely needed a buff. So Katarina and, um, Yasuo. I'll do better this time. 
The problem with Yasuo... What's that noise? Like, a lot of people are excited about Yasuo becoming, you know, he's going to be a 4-3, a or sorry, a 4-4 four, four now instead of a 4-3. But the problem with Yasuo is that if... If Yasuo is too good, it's the kind of card that it it is amazing against other creatures. Like, if, if people are playing creatures, Yasuo is going to dominate creatures. And that's, you know, most of your decks in... Am I just drawing two? Kind of have nothing going on. That's kind of most of your decks, you know, here in Legends of Runeterra are creatures. And so, like, to play, like, an anti-Yasuo deck, you're going to play a deck that just doesn't have creatures. And so, that could just further push uh, control if Yasuo becomes really big. Like, if, if Yasuo becomes really good, and if they don't do anything, if they don't nerf Ezreal or Karma, that could just be, could just make it where playing Ezreal Karma is even, is even in a better spot than, than what it is right now. It's already the most played deck. Uh, let's see. I don't, I don't like any of my options. Basically, playing this is just five mana, gain six life. All right, like that's that's all I'm doing there. Just five mana, gain six life. I'll do better this time. Boom. Please, I have connections. They got past me. This hand was really, really awkward. Okay, ready. Saucy mailman. Hey, thanks for the raid. What is up, everybody? Hey, we are doing. Uh, we're doing aggro day. It hasn't really been my day so far, the first two decks, but we're trying out some spiders aggro now. Um, all right, we're definitely going to transfusion to pump this thing up. I don't want them to have... We'll get rid of... We'll do one damage to this thing. I don't want them to have this 6-3 overwhelm. Hey, what's up, Sniper? No! Pulling Strike. I should have used Might. Alright, can we survive? They have a lot of attackers, and I don't have a lot of blockers. I just got one of, the, one of those blockers. Hmm. Well... Could go with Campfire Studios, a tier three sub. Yo, y'all, let's get some hype in the chat. That is amazing. Thank you so much, Campfire Studios. I really, really appreciate that. You are awesome. Thank you so much. That is incredible. All right, so my best blocks I can make involve blocking the two four power things as you can see we still go to negative five negative five is not enough life so we are going to be dying it's like i need to use might not transfusion i was thinking i went with transfusion because i was thinking like if they had something that dealt like a little bit of damage and that's us hitting the sub goal for today that is awesome. We're going to mark that down towards our next 12-hour stream, our first sub-bowl. 
hit since the last one. So we are now, so one out of 10. So once we hit 10 sub goals, then we'll do in a 12 hour stream. So here we go. Yeah, Legends of Runeterra doesn't have as many viewers as Magic right now. Uh, the game releases this month, and hoping that will bring in some more people. But I'm really enjoying playing it. And I think it's an awesome game. All right, so we're gonna get rid of, we'll just get rid of these two tricks and keep our one drop, two drop. Get him. Get him rear guard. Their guilt is evident. I pull the string. So I think we're just kind of curving out. Um, you know, obviously that thing's a 3 2, so we'll be able to block a Lee, so we'll probably just want to play Skitter pre combat. Let's go. You cannot escape. Got a pretty nice curve here. So still even next turn they won't have six mana uh, to be able to play a six six mana spell for the first waiter. So that's good. Just file feast this thing. They probably barrier it, and which gives the caretaker plus uh, plus two plus zero though. Pretty good draw. Yes. So I can't Vile Feast and Skitter and Might. I can only do two of those three. Maybe I should just crowd favorite. So it's a 2 1, it would get plus 3, so it'd be 5 4. No, we'll do this. So again, so they use their barrier now. Oh no. And that's a six mana spell. And that's two barriers. A tribute to the fire god. That is worse. So does that make my attacks just poor in general? Um six five. No, I decided to go with the 6-5 instead of the 3-3. Three, because, three. yeah, like, they were going to block with the 5-2 to trade, but then they take 4 trample damage. Put them down to 7. 
I take another six damage, so down to one. So we got to figure out how to get an extra point of damage in here now. One more. And hopefully with this might, we'll be able to get there. All magic is dangerous. So too are major. Root out magic. You can't outrun justice. All right, so we got our, we got, we're able to flip a lease. We should be good. Should be game. There's nothing to fear. My true beauty is beneath your skin. Because we can, we can challenge her these things over here. So even if they have the life steal barrier, they can't. We'll be able to do damage first. There we go. Uh, we lost the last one, so we're one. We were one and one. I guess I didn't update the, the score over here. So now we're two and one. All right, hit the hit that quest. Start getting some more chess. Awesome. There we go. All twos. Hey, our first time playing Karma Ezreal today. Do I want to keep all twos against Karma Ezreal? Get rid of Battlecaster and keep these two. I do like Glimpse Beyond. It's, you know, if they use a removal spell on our thing, keeps them from Keeps them from getting the Ezreal trigger. You name it, I'll nick it. Yeah. Yeah, Riot. Riot makes really quality games. This game is so balanced. Every game um, has so many decisions. And it is so tricky and everything. It's such a good, good, well put together game. Don't be calling no enforcers. So we have the, you know, today's the eleventh. We have the full release on the thirtieth with a, a new set, with a, uh, um, hundred and twenty plus new cards. But before that, it looks like we're going to have the monthly balance patch is going to happen. Uh, that will be announced um, officially on Monday on the 13th. And then that will come to uh, take go into effect on the 14th on Tuesday. So every, once a month, they balance cards and the cards change. So, if I if I just passed and didn't do anything, wow, they just rummaged away two karmas. Well, that's that's pretty cool. Got 
say. Main question is do I transfusion and, and try to save Elise? Um, at the expense of turning this thing into a 3 1. Or just let the damage happen and mm -hmm. save transfusion to, to what? Protect against a removal spell? There's not really any difference of saving from a removal spell or saving from combat. We might as well do it. The only difference is like if we're attacking during said removal spell, that then we could get the two points of damage across for the transfusion. Yes, they have just the one karma in their deck now. Health potion Yone. Yeah, their hand was not spectacular. I should do that post combat. Take the two damage, then I would have gained one. It could be at nineteen. Well, that's unfortunate. Don't get to level up, please. We are gonna have just a whole bunch of little spiders attacking. We'll attack with all those first, and then these. It's too late for you. Doesn't look like they have Static Shock, which is awesome. It's like the first time playing against Ezreal deck where they don't draw Static Shock. Basically never happens. Um... Ezreal's still at one out of eight right now. Hey, what's up, Storm? True power. Like them. I'd like to play Darius at the end of their next turn. We obviously need a creature to die. So now we're we're filled up. Um, there we go. That will do. So many spiders. They're all spooky. See I'm still like a yodel in uniform. They will bleed for Noxus. Get him, Darius. 
We have, they're at six. We have a seven, six overwhelm and a 10, five overwhelm. Oh no, they have their third karma though. And that card's gonna hurt. Now next turn's gonna be turn 10. So karma's enlightened. So all their spells are doubled. The good thing is they only have two, you know, they just have one card in hand. Besides the mushroom clouds, which don't, which don't do anything. They only have one card, the random card they just got from Karma, and then a second. So they don't have very much stuff. That's the good news. So that was their one card from before. Let's see what it is. It's probably, I mean, I hope it's not William, but knowing our luck, it's probably William. It is William. All right, so this would put them down to five. I do have five points of burn in hand. They probably don't have a second William, so we can just kind of go for this. Let's go. Um, do it on a couple of different things. We'll do it on this guy. Strike the ball. I'll put them down to zero. So the random card they generated plus the card they drew were both Mystic Shots. Wow. Karma is busted. are built upon action. Move! Hmm. Uh, the deck here... That's the deck list right there. They don't draw any removal, we can't, you know, Darius will overwhelm and do enough damage this next turn. disappointing I have my orders oh 
That was a really disappointing game. Alright, well, we are... Um, two and two now. And the random card that Karma generated was Mystic Shot. So we want to do we want to just get a lot of things out that, that do a lot of attacking. This is like the, the no champion Demacia Shadow Isles, this is like the undying deck. We want to race the undying. Where's my axe? He had a quadruple mystic shot. That was that was pretty sick. Well, they're, they're most likely turn two play as Cursed Keeper, and so a lot of times we would just go straight to combat and get the three points of damage in, because like they would play a two drop that would, would kill the Battlecaster anyway in that spot, but this deck, their most likely turn two play was Cursed Keeper, and so uh, good thing we, we, played, we got to play that, so that was nice. Um, but unfortunately now, I... I've really not mulliganed well. A lot of yeah, I, I mulliganed the three spells, hoping to just draw a bunch of creatures to race, but we did not, and they they did have the curse keeper butcher combo, so not looking good. Not looking good at all. Normally, I would just trade Battlecaster for Ravenous Butcher, but because our play was likely crowd favorite, uh, I kind of need the crowd favorite to be a 4 3. I attack out. Yeah, I did. I did change my username. My old one had uh, MTG in the name, and I, w I wanted a username with without any games in the username, so I can you know switch between games and stuff. And want a generic username. Uh, let's see. Now, do we attack? Good hand. We may need to keep this decisive. <clears throat> we may need this decisive maneuver to help pump up smaller creatures to be able to tussle with these things.
Yeah, maybe I should use a, a transfusion during that last combat. Try to keep something alive. Uh, yeah, I guess I could have done that. Agro day is not working out too well. Um, I, um, I, I've never, I don't have like a Hearthstone background, so I can't really say if it has same mechanics or anything. I don't, I don't know a whole lot about Hearthstone. But anyway, um, yeah. Uh, so you know we went two through with the spiders aggro, uh, like we talked about at the beginning of the video. This isn't this isn't really one of the best decks in um, in masters rank. It's it's kind of lower on the power level for masters rank, but it's a it's a real good deck to start with. Like whenever you're starting, um, when you're starting out, um, it's a real good deck to start with and uh, rank up with. Um, it did feel like we had too many tricks. Too many, you know, transfusion, vile feast, might, decisive maneuver, and not not enough, uh, you know, brothers bond in there too. Not enough units to feel like that. Um, but so not not similar to Hearthstone. As similar as you play your cards with mana. Yeah. Yes, this game is very, very interactive. It's this is a very balanced game. Um, like I, I come from Magic. I, I wrote about like why I like this game more than Magic in this Google document. If you want to check that out, that I just linked. Uh, but anyway, uh, that kind of explains some some differences between this and Magic. Uh, but anyway, there's there's Spiders Aggro. Um, yeah, good good deck to start with. Good rank up deck, but. Uh, not one of the best decks for Mastos. All right, uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to, to leave a comment. Um, but that's it here for Spires Aggro. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.